Good morning, Rebels. Today is Tuesday, October 17th, 2023, and this is Rebel TV. Good morning, Rebels. My name is Isaac Arredondo, and I'm a freshman level at Savannah. Please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic of which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may now be seated. Rebels, are you interested in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance for Rebel TV? We'd love to have you. Please scan this QR code to fill out the Google form, and the Rebel TV staff member will reach out to schedule you. Have a great day, Rebels! Join Savannah Science Club on Wednesday, October 18th at Raising Kings on Euclid Avenue. They will be hosting a fundraiser all day from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Pick up a flyer at room 58 and take it with you when you order. Your support is appreciated. Hey Rebels, are you in 9th, 10th, or 11th grade and interested in visiting Fullerton College and learn about the career and technical education programs? Join us as we head there on Wednesday, November 15th. If you would like to attend, sign up by using bit.ly slash savfc jumpstart or scanning this QR code. You must sign up by November 3rd. Spots are limited. Attention freshmen. Lean Crew presents our first freshman event of this year. We will be decorating slimes in the grass area by the library after school on Wednesday, October 18th. You can make a Halloween theme or regular slime with charms and other decorations. Hope to see you there. There's a NAMI meeting today at lunch in room 64. Don't miss out. We have a mental health speaker today. Hope to see you there. Attention Rebels, join TGR Learning Lab for the next college informational event on Thursday, October 19th. The event will take place from 4.30 to 6 p.m. at the lab and will focus on St. John's College and Washington University in St. Louis, who just announced that there will be a no-loan school. In addition to exploring aspects of each school, Students will gain insight to help them stand out in the college admissions process. Scan this QR code to register today. Hi, we are United for Student Success and we provide free developmental programs to help you graduate on time. We currently have four opportunities for Savannah High School. The very first program is actually exclusive to Savannah High School. It's the Disneyland Resort Speaker Series Program. Taught by Disneyland cast members, it's a series of professional development workshops. If you attend all workshops, you can go to Disneyland at the end. The next program is exclusive to Savannah High School as well. It's a one-day opportunity to learn professional etiquette through mock interviews and resume reviewing. It's held in the auditorium and breakfast and lunch will be provided. The third program is actually exclusive to seniors and it's the e-mentorship program. You get paired with a professional mentor to help you get through your personal, academic, and professional goals in the last six months of your high school career. At the end of the program, you receive a laptop or a scholarship. The last program is a startup boot camp for all high school students and it walks you through how to start your own business step by step. At the end of the program, you can also get a scholarship. So, if any of these sounded interesting to you, go ahead, grab your phone, and scan that QR code, and the application will pop up on your phone. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Phoebe Bonfield, and my email is right there, phoebeb at unitedwayoc.org. You made the rain 
So when it falls on me, should I complain? Or feel you calling me, it's all on me to stay And really catch what you're showing It's my roots that you're growing Cause life is more than this moment You are the light Hey Rebels, Linkro will be selling Boo Grams from October 16th to October 30th. Find our table in the quad at lunch or find a leader from the Link Crew class during passing period or before or after school. These grams will be selling for only $2 and will be delivered October 31st. Want a free Otter Pop? This Friday, October 20th at lunch, look for small plastic babies hidden around the quad and library. If you find four, turn them in into the student store window for a free Otter Pop. is earthquake country. Thursday, November 13, 2008. It's a sunny morning in Southern California. Across the region, 7.5 million people are busy at work. Several hundred thousand of them are commuting to jobs in different counties, far from where they live. Over 200,000 commuters work and reside on opposite sides of the San Andreas Fault. Today, these families and many others across the region be separated. Eighteen hundred people will die. Fifty-three thousand people will be injured. And two hundred thirteen billion dollars in damage will occur. It's 10 a.m. The largest earthquake to hit Southern California in modern times has just begun. Some people react appropriately. Others don't. In the intense shaking, nearly 1,500 buildings collapse. Infrastructure is severely compromised and 300,000 buildings suffer significant damage. The rupture travels 200 miles northwest along the San Andreas Fault. Violent shaking lasting as long as two minutes in some areas. Finally, the earthquake is over. Many of the lifelines of Southern California have been disrupted. A large number of people are trapped in collapsed buildings. Over 1,600 fires start, some turning into super conflagrations. Millions of people are trying to use their phones, causing the system to become overloaded. In the months ahead, there will be tens of thousands of aftershocks. Residents will struggle to recover from the earthquake. There will be no water for weeks or months, and no electricity. Traveling from point to point within the city will be extremely difficult, and 255,000 people will be displaced from their homes. We are all in this together. We will suffer the consequences if we don't do our part right now. How quickly life gets back to normal after this disaster is up to you and those around you. Your level of personal preparedness will determine your quality of life after the quake, it's a good idea to have a fire extinguisher, a first aid kit, and enough water for each person in your household to have at least one gallon of water a day for three days. Have an emergency plan. Decide now where you will meet your family after an earthquake. Make sure there's a person out of town you can contact to let your loved ones know that you're okay. Homeowners should be sure to bolt their house to its foundation. Consider whether earthquake insurance makes sense for you as part of your financial plan. Even if you're not a homeowner, you can secure your personal possessions against earthquake damage. Preparedness is not only for the home, but also for business. Be sure that your company has emergency plans for a major earthquake. Empower yourself and your family. Be prepared. Savannah will be practicing the Great California Shakeout on Wednesday, October 18th during second period. You will hear instructions to drop, cover, and hold for a short period of time. 
When instructed to evacuate the classroom, you will report to the athletic fields with your current class and your teacher. Please line up with your fourth period class once on the field. The classes are listed along the fence in numerical order. Remember, this will be the classroom you report to for all evacuations. That's all for today, Rebels. Have a terrifying Tuesday. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!